Let's now look at how ETFs track indices. ETF baskets can be created to track different indices. It is important to remember that each of these indices operate differently, even though they may be similar by name or concept. For example, when you compare two mid-cap indices, even though they may track mid-cap stocks, they may be vastly different when it comes to its constituent stocks. That's because of the construction methodology. An index is designed to target different sectors, market capitalization, commodities or even geographies. It is often difficult and complicated to manage your asset allocation. With ETF, you can invest across different asset classes like equity, commodity and money market in order to suit your risk appetite. An ETF allows you to get exposure to international indices such as NASDAQ 100 as well as emerging economies or new sectors that offer opportunities for exciting and long-term returns. When the returns of one ETF go up or down matching another, then both ETFs are said to be perfectly positively correlated. When one of them goes up while the other comes down, they are perfectly negatively correlated. With ETFs, you can diversify into non-traditional asset classes such as gold, emerging markets, etc., which are weakly correlated to one another. This is crucial as they lower volatility and help build a diversified investment portfolio. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.